Welcome back to the 99 one at a time ultimate Iron Man. After the unfortunate events of the last video, I felt pretty unmotivated to say the least, but after I uploaded it, you guys expressed an overwhelming amount of support towards me, towards the account, and at the end of the day, towards the series. So I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but I really appreciate all of you, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's video. So there I was in Lumbridge, naked and with an empty inventory. I had lost seeds from 99 woodcutting which would have given me over a million farming XP and also lost over 80 clue caskets, 6 of them coming from medium clues. It still stings a little watching that footage but there's no point in dwelling over the past. This gives me a fresh start so let's make this account 10 times better than the one we lost. So for those of you who are unaware of anything I just said, I'd recommend you to check out the last episode by clicking the card in the top right corner. But today we're starting our second skill on this account, being Agility. The initial plan was to complete the Client of Karend and X marks the Spot quests, which give me a total of 3 lambs that can be used on any skill. Using all of them would get me to level 11 Agility and I wouldn't have to go to the Tree Gnome Stronghold, but since we lost them, I guess we have no choice. So here's something weird, uh, you can actually reclaim your lambs from the Client of Current quest, but you can't reclaim them from the X marks the spot. What's even weirder is that you can only reclaim them from Veos in Port Piscatoris, so if you talk to him in Port Serum, he won't have the dialogue option to get the lambs back. I just found that pretty weird. The next thing I wanted to do was to get back the Chronicle, because it's a really good teleport, especially for low levels, but it costs 300 GP, so I picked up some leather boots from the Lumbridge Castle seller and sold them to the general store to make enough money for a bronze axe, which I bought from Bob. Then I proceeded to do more of what I've been doing for the past two months, and I chopped some more willow trees right next to the pub in Lumbridge, and I sold enough of them to make 300 GP. Here we go, we got the Chronicle bag, baby. So the cool thing about the Chronicle is the fact that it keeps all of your charges if you die, so it's not really a waste of money if you want to stock up on a bunch of these teleport charges. And then I proceeded to make my way all across Gillenorth to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. <laughs> I just disconnected, so I missed level 2 agility, but that makes it official that agility will be the second 99 I'll be going for on this account. But if I use both of the lamps, it will give me 1000 experience, which puts me to level 9 agility. So I still have to do like 2 laps to get to level 10, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Here it is, level 10, which unlocks our first rooftop course found in Draenor Village. That means we will start collecting Marks of Grace, and I need 260 of them for the full Graceful outfit, which should hopefully happen by the time we get to level 60. Here's the first lap of the Draenor course done, which completes an easy Lumbridge in Draenor Diary. And here's level 20 Agility, and that means we can move to al for a bit more XP per hour. And here's the first lap of the al course done, which completes a medium Lumbridge Diary, which is kind of weird because I always considered al to be a part of the desert, but I guess this makes sense. And here is 150 total level. This seems like a very small achievement to most, but you guys have been reminding me of this in every one of my videos. 150 total is required to do Last Man Standing. The reason why LMS is so good for me is because I get no XP while doing it, 
and with just one point, I can unlock one of the most useful items on an Ultimate Iron Man, being the Looting Bag. The Looting Bag can store up to 28 extra items, but the catch is that it can only be opened in the wilderness, so it's not just the free inventory anywhere in the game. Also, to get the items out of the Looting Bag, you have to die and make your way all the way back to the gravestone where you have to loot all of the items. There have been countless incidents of Ultimate Iron Man withdrawing their items in level 1 wilderness just to get caught by a PKer, losing hundreds of millions of GP in the process. Obviously, I have nothing of value on me, which means it's not dangerous for me at the moment, but after what happened last episode, who knows what the future has in store for me. So there's probably some PKer watching this, yelling at the screen, Wondering what the hell I'm doing, but in my defense, I'm not much of a PKer, so it's pretty embarrassing for me to show you guys this footage. But regardless, we did get a kill, which is worth one point, meaning we can get our hands on the looting bag. The looting bag has been acquired, now it's time to go back to agility. Here is level 30 agility. We unlock a bunch of new stuff, but the only one we're gonna use is the Virok course, so let's make our way there. You already know the drill by now. First lap completes a medium Virog Diary task. And here is level 35 Agility, which unlocks the Barbarian course. But I'm gonna stick to Virog for the Marks of Grace, which we already have 26 of them. Here is level 40 Agility, which unlocks the Canifus course. Now, the Canifus course has a much better drop rate of Marks of Grace than any other course around this level. You get the full graceful set anywhere from around level 55 to 60 agility. But to access it, you need to complete the Priest and Peril quest, which grants prayer experience, therefore it's inaccessible to my account at the moment, so we're gonna stay here in Virok until I get level 50. We just hit a total of 70 marks of grace on the account, and I'm actually gonna go buy some pieces of graceful because I am running out of energy doing this, so this should hopefully help. We're gonna grab the gloves and the boots, which I think are the most bang for your buck here. And we get negative 4 kilograms, which is really good because it decreases the rate at which our run energy depletes. And with over 360 laps of the Vera course, we get to level 50, which means we can move over to Falador and do the rooftop course there for significantly more XP per hour. Here's the first lap done, and that completes a hard Falador task. 50 really isn't too hard to get, and it already completes a hard task. I didn't even notice, but we already surpassed 100k XP in agility, and that will be our last milestone in this video. I know this episode was a lot shorter than the first episode for woodcutting, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to work on the pacing of the series, and I can give you guys some good news, I am planning to do agility in 4 or 5 episodes. So there's going to be more videos on this account. Next episode, I want to get the full graceful outfit along with getting 75 agility, or at least 70. But at 75, I stop failing the agility pyramid. And that's really good because I have 10 HP and that means I cannot die. And the agility pyramid is going to be absolutely amazing because we're going to make a lot of GP there, which is going to be very useful for training magic as well as construction in the future. Anyways, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel, I am very close to 2000 subscribers and I want to thank everyone for that. I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful day.